One of my favorite tanks is a tank that we made look like a real beer keg. And it all started with our client Erin in New Jersey, who wanted to surprise her fiance with a tank for his man cave. We came up with the brilliant idea to have the tank in the shape of a keg. So of course we had to use real kegs. We had to drink a lot of beer to empty those kegs. I think all in all that night we drank about a six pack each. Yeah, I think you're right. I was a little bit tipsy. Didn't we fall asleep in Redneck's trailer? Speak for yourself, creep. I took a cab home. <laughs> Whatever. You know what? Speaking of sleep, remember Redneck he passed out in his chair? He was practically begging to get messed with. <laughs> We talked about the classic sleeping pranks. Yeah, like putting his hand in some warm water. Shaving cream on it. But you know what? We decided to do something more mature. True. Roll up a piece of paper towel <laughs> and jam it up his nose. <laughs> <laughs> so wait and I know how crazy Redneck can get when he's angry. So that's why we made Frankie do it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Redneck was angrier than a hillbilly in an outhouse with no toilet paper who had to use his cowboy hat. After Redneck put the tank together, it looked good, but I thought it needed more of a manly centerpiece. That's manly. Look at the size of that. Look at the curve on that thing. No one has ever done that before. A shape like a barrel acrylic tank? I've never seen it. Are you nuts? That's for the man cave! I understand what you're going with that, but do you realize how hard that's gonna be to form? Adding this barrel keg on top is what makes this one of my favorite builds. It was and still is the only one ever built, but it was no cakewalk. Give it to him, Red. Give it to him. Like I mean, do to really? Me. Uh -huh. But hey, you can do it. Redneck, you can do anything, though. We know that. Well, that's beside the point. It took over 250 pounds of acrylic, over 200 man hours, but it was one of a kind. It was worth it. There we go. That's man cave, baby. Man cave. I got to be honest with you guys. This tank is really cool. Isn't it? I think it it's is. only the one in the world. I've never seen them on the barrel ship. Yeah, it's like a barrel ship. So we're Heather approved. As if that matters. Man cave. Man cave. Man cave. Man cave. And we set off for the install in New Jersey. Let's rock and roll, boys. That man cave install, that was a beast. I mean, we were under the gun because it was a surprise. And it started out OK. Hey, guys. Is it almost done? He's going to be here any second. Yeah, we're, we're going to put the finishing touches on right now. Awesome, thank you. Now, that was a bold-faced lie, because what she didn't know, there was a major leak in one of the fittings that we had to fix on the fly. All right, let's cross our fingers. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't snap it. It's got at least a quarter turn yeah, right there. Yeah, but you can cross-thread now and snap it. No, he's fine. Side way, lower it down. We're clear? Yeah, we're clear. Watch that hose. Looks good? Looks good. I don't see any drips. Looks great. Redneck, you the man. You are the man. That leak could have been a disaster. Yeah, but thank God Redneck to the rescue. And the rest went as planned. Yup, Aaron loved it. Her fiance loved it. And after all that hard work, that was the best tasting beer I had in a long time. It's the best thing ever. <laughs>